Hi everyone, are you old as Coins Kid? I'm just going to dive into XRP once again. Thank you for your support. Big up the Coins Kid crew. So, right now I'm taking a look at the DXY because there is an inverse correlation here, and this is the reason why crypto crashed the other day. Look, I'll show you. Let me put XRP in here and I can show you. So, the XRP price action is in the orange, and the candlesticks that's the DXY. And you can see just here there was a catalyst just here for a correction. So, look, XRP corrected, and what did the DXY do? it pumped in there you know and again last year if we take a look at last year just here for september look what happened for xrp let me bring this up a bit you can see that the dxy look if you look at xrp it dumped didn't it during september when the dxy pumped okay and for the continuation of september look we had another little dump uh in, in xrp price action just there look another little dump have to put in a high and at that point the DXY pumped as well but it's at that point that the DXY started to fall okay and it lost a key level support and when it did and started to roll over this is where you see an explosion for XRP look look at the correlation the inverse correlation sorry between here and here because just here last year XRP lost a, um, the DXY lost a key level support just there okay look let me show you look so you've got a key level support just there some kind of head and shoulders pattern and when you lost support you kept lost it come back down tested it to support continuation of downtrend and just here what happened to XRP it absolutely exploded and took off into space to understand that but when the DXY started to pump on, on the 1st of September just here look pumped what happened to XRP corrected had a little relief rally and then entered another low during the month of uh, September there towards the end of September when uh, the DXY had another little rally and made it a higher high basically you know the XRP fell over again so do expect that September is going to be really choppy here for XRP like I said to you it's it's going to be messy but I do think that once we get out of this and the DXY starts to roll over and loses a key level of support especially this is where you could see as sort of rally for crypto here basically you know and it's exactly the same things happened again here look we've we've come into September and we were looking for a catalyst here you know I think think it was going to be around about the first of September but it wasn't but in the DSY, we bounced off a key level support, which was a support of a rising wedge. Look, you fell out of it just there, which I gave you. Look, we rolled over on what happened to XLP, pumped. Do you see that? And then when we came down to our support target of the DX uh, of the in the DSY of the rising wedge, which I gave you, look, come down to there. What happened? We bounced off it, and what happened to XLP? Dumped, didn't it? So do anticipate this. Why well, you got to come to your charts, okay? Draw this trend line on the DXY because at the moment I think what you're doing here is very similar to what you did last year you're putting in a head and shoulders pattern so you've got a high a higher high and then a lower high you're effectively rolling over look head and shoulders pattern when you lost that support what happened to XRP it pumped like crazy didn't it you know so I'm, I'm expecting the same again here if if we fail to break this high you know if we fail to break this high and we put in a very similar scenario here where we do this left shoulder ahead and we come up here and put this right shoulder in and we fail to break it you know and this rolls over and loses this key level support just here in the dxy if that starts to do that this is where you're going to see this orange line so sort of just take off into space and that's the xrp price action okay so there is an inverse correlation so come to your charts come to the dxy drop this trend line in because at the minute i think you're on the verge of creating some kind of head and shoulders pattern here okay for the dxy so it's all about breaking this high if you start to see the dxy come up and break this high up here and continue this i think is the bear market for crypto and it's confirmation of that to understand that but if you do start to roll over here and lose this key level support this as i have shown you could be really really good for crypto okay and it could be a catalyst for a, an explosion basically just like this was a catalyst bouncing off this key level support for an, a, a, a dump basically in crypto so do you understand that so it's all about breaking this high so with XRP then the price action you can see that you're holding the weekly 20 at the moment that's that yellow line okay but if you want to see a bit of a correction like I said to you just put some cheeky bids in down here on the 050 because I do anticipate that you could see a little wick down to there just as you did in this correction you sort of wick down to 050 just there and you, you got the little bounce and pick up okay you never what we don't want to see here for XRP is something like this where you start to come under this hit your head hit your head on the weekly like you did here okay when you start to do that you're looking at a larger correction and I think at that point you know you could be looking at a bear market because you're starting to lose structure you fall out of this and you're rolling basically okay so I don't anticipate that but because 
because I don't anticipate does not mean it won't happen I'm always show you the what ifs okay it's all about support and resistance but right now I think XRP it's having a correction it's looking for continuation it's holding a key level support for continuation you know providing you can sort of not lose a key level support your primary level of support for me is equally the 55 EMA on the daily can't lose that because if you start to come down and you start to lose that on the daily uh, on the weekly sorry uh, currently sits at around about 60 73 cents okay that would actually be lower than the golden ratio retracement right there and I could see you potentially just sort of rolling here you know you're doing something like that and you, you just you, you're entering the bear market okay so it's doing really well it is doing really well and like I said to you it's sort of playing out as it's played out before where you get the break and you're looking at a minimal four dollar fifty on the next break but we're looking for a bearish catalyst in the DXY I think that that is key okay so if we, if we can put in that sort of head and shoulders pattern right now and lose that support on the DXY that my friend I think is your catalyst to see it. XRP absolutely take off here break this high could meet these new all-time highs and some in this bull market for crypto right here okay so yeah the dsy is, is massively inversely correlated i don't care what anyone says i see comments on there that it's not in you know it's not inversely correlated it's got nothing to do of course it has of course it has you apply a bit of logic of course it has the, the proofs in the pudding you only have to look at the history of it so yeah i mean that's what we're looking at we're looking for a, a, a breakdown in the dxy i think at the moment we have some nice little pickup today for xrp a bit of a throwback here it's come back into this falling wedge you actually broken out of it and now you come back in another little breakout there but now you come back in and you potentially look if you continue to do something like this it is a bullish reversal pattern eventually when you do start to break this resistance with substance you will be looking at retracement to where you form this wedge so like I said to you, it's chip chop sideways for a bit until it finds a key level support, starts to pick up and bounce. But one primary factor is that bearish pattern breakdown in the DXY. So that's XRP. I hope you enjoyed that update. I'll be try to be a bit more technical on XRP itself tomorrow. So take care, everyone. Back soon with another update on XRP. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye bye.